Uh, Azaz, of course, on Condition Herald. I imagine, once again, on a pretty prank about Esprit on that Condi thief there that we've seen. Wait, what is that? Wait, what? What? <laughs> what is Azaz playing? What? what? <laughs> Wait. Uh, it's gotta be Spec Sheet Plug. Uh, in, uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Right, not, right, yeah, right, we, right. we can't. We can't, we shouldn't talk about it too much, but uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't know. Goku. This is interesting. On the one v one, we got the wizard amulet there uh, on the core condition revenant. There, it's gonna be kind yeah, of like, that's, like that's a, standard stuff from Goku. Yeah, I got a duelist uh, build. Zeros, uh, okay, he. Uh, I yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say about this build, other than the fact that I, I don't know. Yeah, not sure what to make of that. Wait, can we just quickly check Azza's build? Did, was it some kind of weird glitch? Are we getting bugged here? Wait, no, no, that is that is his build. It's gotta, it's gotta be a bug. Wait, maybe right? his legends are bugged. Is he Ventari? His oh, legends must be bugged. He, he might There's be bugged. There's no way he's playing Shiro with Bunker Rev. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm very confident in that. Regardless, we'll see what happens here. Obviously, Ultranum, a little bit more of a team fight oriented comp, and we will see the French Worms who have picked Skyhammer here for this map, uh, going for a bit more of. Uh, a, a entire map, a three node comp here. So we'll have to see how. Oh, yeah, that is going to yeah, be Ventari. Ventari from, yeah, it's Ventari. Right here. He's now, going for the Bunker Rev. I, I think I th the one thing about Bunker Rev that can be really, really annoying is it does have a lot of decap potential, right? It's able to yeah. knock you off the point. It, can, it has this tablet thing that it summons around all over the place, and it can make that explode, causing a big knockback to everyone. And that might play into the favor of the worms now the the problem that the worms are having right now is that they're actually struggling in some of these 1v1s we see tibbs uh, kind of getting bullied a little bit by those nades from floody maybe not too much experience into that build now kind of turns it around though actually and forces floody away from the point tibbs looking to maybe go for a kill elixir s still available though for floody so he should be able to be okay there and numb are going to be the ones to claim the first point able to capture point a however the plus from a spree actually does neutralize the point again and zartak is going to be left in that 1v1 into capablanca yeah, and I mean, I think this is probably going to be a pretty slow game, similar to how we saw Ultranum's first matches go here. Uh, pretty much all going pretty close to timer, uh, going to a best of three. Uh, unless, of course, Ultranum can find a way to just snowball these fights, which I don't think should happen. We actually see Esper coming in. He's going to take Floody out. Where we, uh, oh, hang we on. Tibbs going down. Fly will come back in, but the cleave might be in Esper's favor, and it looks like it's going Ooh, to be, and Tibbs gets right back up. Unfortunately, Fly leaving that a little early. Really nice plus there from Esprit. And he did an excellent job of saving his team there, cleaning that back up. And it will probably be the French Worms taking the map. It's going to be point C picked up yep. for the point. He almost capped as well. This Ventari Rev doing its trick. And I think what Ultra really should try and do is just not, unless they can confidently win and, and, and kill one of these two Revenants, is they shouldn't really give this too much attention. They should play for the other two nodes that these two Revenants are not on. And they should focus on those, those two nodes and not the third one. And yeah, we see the full secret source of the French Worms Unleashed. I think if they're, they're really, they're re they're one tick away from capping mid right now. They really there want it, it, I think. Oh, they do get it too. Yeah, there it is. They cap point B and they're going to start to climb into the lead. Are oh, the French Worms, Zartak uh, and Tibbs now holding down point A. They're looking to even push for the cap there, I think, too. Um... <laughs> We see a Revenant Gornet uh, getting chased down by Goku. Uh, now, honestly, I don't think that's not a very good 1v1 for Gornet to take there. There's going to be too much resistance uptime. I think uh, uh, Goku will be able to actually hold that indefinitely. Now, Cran, move, Cran moving in there doesn't really do too much either because, uh, of course, Cran being a support cost isn't going to be able to provide too much damage uh, into the French Worms. And so far, this Worm Secret Source, Roy, it appears to be working. It does, and I do like the fact that, again, I mean, they're, they're going for the two nodes where Azurs is not, and I think really rotating around Azurs is going to be crucial, although we do now see Azurs going for the Skyhammer cap, and that's going to be free for him, so it'll oh, completely shut it. down any point game from Ultranum, from Blue Team, unfortunately. A will be decapped in just a second, and they've already got a player there. Zartag is already there on this more or less bunker renegade build that's going to be pretty difficult to, to dislodge for a while it's free coming in for the plus as well that won't be capablanca along for this world unless he's able to kite out over at point c it's going to be fly actually going to downstate Ooh. and unfortunately the North, the Ventari Ventari Rev, the Ventari Ventari. oh he gets the glyph though at the last second he's going to be able to get it yeah, nicely down there from cran but i mean the issue here is that they're not able to get kills and you know every single time we saw the french worms in a game it was the exact same story if the team fighting them could not get kills against them it was basically game over and so far they cannot they they need to be able to find a way to crack some of these revenants either the renegade either the herald either the core revenant from goku and and they're just not doing it and again i really hate to see 
Cran and Gornet in these 2vx's. Even if it's 2v2, even if it's even for them, even if they don't lose anything, they eventually get decapped by the Ventari Rev and they just don't get any value out of it. And they should be playing much harder for two nodes. They're about 100 points behind. It's not too late for them to start doing it and still win the game, but they have to do it now. Yeah, and Ultranum, th th I think versus the French Worms, you don't want to be behind, right? Because it's just going to take so long to actually get back control of the map. And with the decap on mid coming through as well, I, I think, honestly, I know that 100 points is quite bad, but I actually think it's even worse than that, to be honest, Roy. I, I think 100 points is super bad um, for, for Ultranum to be behind at this stage in the game versus the French Worms. I, this is actually, I think they're quite far behind in this in this game so far. Yeah, oh, oh, for sure. I mean, they have have decapped a node, but I mean, as soon as that node gets decapped, point B gets picked up, and as much as I hate to say it, it looks like this could just be game here for French Worms, and Ultrana may just need to try and figure out a way to win the next two maps. And of course, they do have their map pick coming up next. They, we finally see a kill coming out here onto the French Worms. Tibbs is going to be taken out here. And I, you know, again, this just comes back to they, they just need to be able to continue to get kills. And, and obviously one big part of the French Worms comp is that several of their players, it's very hard to snowball kills. It's very hard to connect kills. We see Tibbs coming back up. Azur is already getting a little bit pressured here, but it's going to be pretty difficult to actually completely finish him off. He does have some peel here now from his spree from Goku. Zartak coming in as well. But back in off of respawn is going to be Tibbs making this map again an even 5 versus 5 for the French Worms. And Ultram have not gotten really any value from that. They've taken a few cooldowns, but Revenants don't have as much loss from cooldowns as a lot of other classes. They can easily just stand swap and they'll get all their energy back. They'll be able to go into a new stance. And it works very well for them. So at the moment, again, one kill on Tibbs is nice, but unless they can follow it up with another kill, another two kills, swap the map back into their favor, that this game is already over and, and the French Worms have, have basically just won. Skyhammer coming up for the second time now. Yeah, if Skyhammer went to the Worms, that would be an absolute disaster. I think uh, we're going to see uh, Ultra maybe, maybe play a little bit more for it this time. Actually, no, are they going to ignore it? No, Cran and Gornet are here. I think they've got to be careful not to get baited, though. Yeah, I like that rotation from Cran leaving there immediately. Uh, but this does leave Gornet. Gornet's getting hard bursted, actually, by Goku and Zartak. Oh, if he dies, that would be a disaster. Is Cran available? Cran is available to maybe try and save him, but they might end up having to sack the hammer because I'm not sure if Gornet can really contest effectively into this for a while after losing all of that health. And also uh, burning a lot of his cooldowns to Cran is able to hold, but there's going to be quite a lot of AoE pressure coming out from those two Revenants. And again, I mean, this is pretty much the same as we saw before. We see the team fight, the base, the core of the team fight here, Cran and the Necker Gornet here, locked into this 2v2 that isn't going anywhere for them and eventually is going to get picked up here. Yeah. And there's the Skyhammer for Red Team. The knocks are just too much for the Ultranum players. And they can't contest it. Skyhammer picked up again for the second time now by, by Cheese Mode. Uh, excuse me, by French Worms, this red team. And I, again, I, I think it's probably game. I think Ultranum needed to play for two nodes. They needed to secure two nodes out the gate, and they needed to be able to crack some of these players here from, from French Worms, or at least pressure them off nodes so they couldn't freely decap with the knockbacks that they have on the Renegade on the Ventari Revan, and that just never happened. And unfortunately, once you get behind in this type of game, it's basically game over. Yeah, and it's a 200-point deficit right now. And we also saw Floody get picked off there too. I believe a plus from Esprit came in on that Condition Thief, able to eliminate um, uh, Floody there as well over on point C. And that, once again, re-solidified the French Worms' hold on the map by capturing two of those points. They're even pushing for a third right now too. Uh, looks like Num is going to be able to hold down point A, at least for the time being. But they are in an incredibly unfortunate situation. And uh, uh, I, you, you hate to see it, Roy. You really do. With three kills, and this much of a point differential. Oh, you hate to see it. You really do. I, oh, oh, boy. Well, you know, a lot of people may not enjoy this gameplay as much as a, a game where you see many kills. But you know what? The French Worms, they're not here for your viewing. They're pleasure. here, to, they're win, here to win. Oh, yeah. And that is exactly what they're doing right now. And and I, you know, I, I think I've only really seen one team successfully shut down the French Worms in all of their playstyles, and that is rank 55. So it's going to be very interesting to see those two teams go up against each other tomorrow because we won't see that happen today. Assuming that, of course, French Worms do win the next map or potentially the third map if Ultranum will take the next one. But at the moment, it looks like they're doing very well. 100 points on the board here for Ultranum, but a triple cap for French Worms. There's six minutes left in the game. And but there's actually, wait, a, a DC here on oh, the Wait, the Worms are down. French Worms. Uh, I, I don't think that... It doesn't matter that much though, Roy, unfortunately. Um, who did they lose? I believe they lost a spree. So losing the Condi Thief does hurt, actually. That is really unfortunate um, for the French Worms. However, I'm not really sure if it matters at this stage in the game. Red is going to win very, very soon. And, and even with a player down, 
They aren't, and Fly is respecting, I believe, too. He isn't moving, so, uh, you know, even in a bad situation, a big shout out to Fly there. That's very, that's that's obviously very, very good. Now, you know, now we see a spree coming back, and obviously that's a lot of respect there to Fly, even in a in a very bad situation in this game. Uh, it's good to see uh, Honor, in the, he can move now. Actually, they might be actually kind of waiting for it to end at this point. Um, yeah, but, they called GG. Oh, uh, they called GG. Okay, there we go. Yeah, GG called. Uh, and that is going to be the end of that game. And, and I, I think that's that's kind of a, a smart play there. Just, you know, just get it over with. Move on to the next game and try and come back. But I, you may not like it, but that is what peak performance looks like, guys. It really is. The Worms, they have obviously thought about this strategy. They have got that comp locked down and they are going to win with it. Okay, that's what's going to happen from the French Worms. They want to win and they want to win hard. And they are playing a style that, really no one else is right like they've we've they you know they believe in that triple rev style and well it, it worked out very well indeed and you know as we start here in a few seconds i do want to give a shout out to the chat i mean i love these are you seeing these quite passes roy like can you see the little cute little bug i, I mean look at that esprit azas tibbs zed heart okay wait 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 what the, the game has now begun there we also see like the wind chime there as well i believe that is like it, for the for the cock i think is what that is uh I'm going with there, but yeah. Please don't swear um, on stream, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, here we go. The match has begun. Once again, the Worms are going to be pushing for all three nodes. Tibbs is actually playing weirdly aggressively there, pushing towards mid instead of going for uh, the cap immediately. Now it is going to go for that. And once again, the Worms have managed to stall the map completely neutral for at least the time being. Now, you know, I see Cran and Floody actually. Rampage pop. That could be big, actually. Could that be a kill on Azaz? Azaz getting CC chained here in a little bit of trouble. He looks like he's okay. Uh, able to get his glint heal, so he will be able to sustain quite effectively uh, for a while there. As is trying to kite away the Lich coming out from Gornet. And I think Lich has been one of those things that has been devastating into the French one sometimes. But wait, the Ventari Rev. This is why it's Galaxy Brain. It has Perma Reflect to shut down the Lich form. Their only weakness. Their only the weakness nades. counter. And the nades too! The hard counter. Uh, oh my goodness. And the French Worms. Now they have that single cap. They're looking to cap mid. It's not going to be easy uh, by the look of that, though, to get that. But Zartak now with uh, now with Tibbs trying to shove away Capablanca to at least lock down the mansion and then hold mid contested. Esprit denying the decap from Fly. Fly now actually going over to a power build and Reaper uh, also there from Gornet too. And I, I think that is actually, that's kind of, I, I kind of like that to try and punch through the worms as quick as possible. And we do see that payoff now. They're able to eliminate Goku. But is that, wait, does the res come through? It might, no, it doesn't. He does get stomped out there. Fly in a little bit of trouble though, getting hard focus down and does end up bleeding out. Cran should be able to res that. Actually, Az is not even realizing that he got that kill there, I think. Uh, but nevertheless, the Worms do have the side nodes and mid is still completely contested. Uh, and therefore, Ultram not able to have any ticking point games so far whatsoever. Absolutely. And I mean, again, Ultranome just not able to break into this map. They do get a kill here on Zartak pushing into the uh, the mansion, but they're four versus two at the moment. Tibbs getting pushed out as well. If they can find a follow-up kill on him, which Floody and Fly are currently going for very, very hard and potentially should be able to find. That's obviously good. It'll allow them to continue to push back into the map, but Gornet going to be very low here now in this outnumbered fight on mid. Cran potentially able to res him. No glyph, though. Oh, do, wait, no, he does have the glyph there. Like he didn't for a second. He's going to be able to get the water glyph back up. Goku not going to be able to stomp. So Crane with a nice job there. But again, the double cap's still held here now for the French Worms. And, and we have to see Ultranum find something off this. Tibbs just coming out. 10 seconds left for respawn. And that means they will have the advantage. Nice decap from Fly over at Windmill as well. But oh, and he doesn't stay for the, the cap. I really like this from Fly actually coming back into the mid fight. If they can completely crack this mid fight, take out one of these players, they will be able to continue to stagger as Tibbs just getting back into the map, and that's exactly what they're looking to do now. And Ultranum have started playing this game a lot better than they did the last men. And of course, that is going to benefit them as well with this map just being a lot easier for them to rotate around. It's a very, very different game, and it's, it's very obvious, right? Like, Ultram already picking up three kills. Like, the opposite was essentially true uh, in the previous game. It's definitely a different setup there. And I think that should be a kill on Azus. He is very, very low. I don't think he can survive this, right? No, he is going to go down, say, there. And that won't really be recoverable by the French Worms, I don't think. But still, like, as you said, we need to see more than this. Like, the Worms need uh, to start losing the map if Ultram wants to win it. And with this plus on, onto Capablanca by a spree, that could be a really unfortunate decap there on the match. Of course, Fly is able to actually get over there and get the decap onto the Wimmer. Ultram, for the first time in this match, have started to claim the map. And 
It's looking good. It's looking better for them. Mansion, clock tower picked up. Tib's now going to be CC'd pretty hard by this tornado from Cran. Floody with, again, this follow-up grenade spam. And I think they're not committing as hard to wherever Azurz is, right? You know, until they have that map advantage, until they have that extra player, and it's definitely being more effective. They they push onto the other nodes. They can get kills a lot easier on the other players. Again, you mentioned this before, that reflect spam from Azurz. Very, very deadly. Very, very, a lot easier to shut down the Lich autos, as we see now from Gornet here. The grenade spam there from Floody. And I think it's definitely effective because they find those kills in the side nodes. They find those kills in the rest of the players, and then they converge in the rest of the map. And again, Kylo benefits them to be able to do that a lot easier. It's a much smaller map than Skyhammer it is. It's a lot easier to rotate there's no real ability to kite on side nodes as well so it's a lot easier for them to find those kills quickly bloody a little bit low though in roads needs to be careful with spree almost taking him out he's trying to make his way over towards cran over on mid and cran will get to him in time but that means the decap comes out on mid as Gornet is going to be forced off the node still Ultranum with the map advantage at the moment windmill completely untouched so far although we do see goku potentially heading his way over towards there Gornet might this no he's not going to decide to contest him and i think that makes sense as well i think again confirming the middle node Forcing Azur's off because he's not going to be able to stay once Gornet comes out. Actually, the kill might come out from Gornet here Ooh. on this Reaper. Cran should be able to glyph, I think. Blanca going down, and Cran does get the glyph. Really yeah. nice glyph there from Cran. Unfortunately, that does lose them the node, but still, map control will continue to be in favor for Ultranum. Yeah, Ultranum have now found themselves a little bit of a lead. The mansion battle is still going to continue. And I think what needs to, I think what Ultranum needs to be careful of, they can't get baited too much uh, into kind of uh, 1v2ing into uh, Zartak too much there. But they are able to actually get a kill her on Azaz. I think they should be able to finish it too. It's pretty good for their stage. You know, they do get the res uh, onto Azaz. He's able to make that recovery. But once again, the French one's definitely having a lot more difficulty in this game to actually get kills. Like that, That's what they're not really being able to get away with here. They haven't got any kills so far and that's what i think we need to see them go for at uh, some way they're looking to go for floody maybe the resistance might carry him there i think he is okay yep gets the cleanse and will be able to survive cran now supporting him too and yeah not another, another kill there onto goku and yeah I, th I think as this game progresses it's gonna be close i think it is definitely going to be close but i think the french worms are slowly going to fall behind as Ultram is zero is a five and oh in terms of kill right now. And I think that is a very important figure to note here uh, because in the previous match, it was a very, very close thing with the French one slightly in favor in terms of kills they're able to generate on the map. But this game is exactly the opposite. The French Worms have not been able to generate any uh, any down states and convert them fully over to a kill. And I think that's what, yeah. they're gonna tr that's what they need to do. They need they need to do like one or two kills and the Worms can come back. But so far, Ultram is doing an excellent job in the second game. Yeah, they are struggling a little bit more. They haven't been able to fully lock the mansion back down, and part of it is we have seen the French Worms able to kite kind out of away a little bit more. Azur is almost going to go down here. Tibbs and Goku coming in to try and peel for him, but Cran not even going to allow him to go for a res. Misform Stomp comes out, and that will be Azur's down for the count, and this will now allow them to push onto the side nodes. Although, I don't really think Fly should be going for this. He is going for a stealth decap, and that's fine. Uh, Tibbs, though, recognizing that that's probably going to happen. Yeah, he's there to stop that. I would have liked to maybe see Fly push over towards a mansion where they could potentially look for a kill, but it looks like... Ultranum actually going to be just trying to lock down the windmill. Uh, actually, no. I'm, I'm wrong again. I don't know what they're doing. Ultranum just staying way too long around Clock Tire. Mm. The kill that they just got on Azur has gone completely to nothing. And French Worms now have the double cap, which is exactly what they want. They've yeah. got both side nodes. They've got all five players here. Ultranum have stalled themselves and unfortunately lost the lead. I think they were very paranoid about the decap on mid. Maybe they weren't sure who they wanted to stay. Maybe a little bit of indecision in the communications there, I think, between them. Um, in the players on Ultranum. Now, they do actually get Fly to decap Windmill, and that's huge, and that, that's certainly exactly what they need right now. Like, as you say, like it, that double cap is exactly what the French Worms want. As long as they're able to actually uh, hold just one cap, Right, and then leave the other one neutral, Ultranum is A-OK -okay in that kind of situation, unless they start hemorrhaging kills. But Fly, Fly is putting in value. Like, I think last map we saw a lot of value coming out from Esprit, but this game, Fly is absolutely popping off, particularly towards the mid game here. Getting another decap um, onto the mansion, also decapping the windmill. Now we're going to see Tibbs reclaim that. But I think this team fight, once again, I think when it comes right down to it, the French ones are probably going to actually struggle to take this like full on 4v4. We don't see them yeah, take that very often. Out. And there we go, Goku, Goku also go eliminated too. Yeah, Goku is down. Yeah. That's just going to get flat destroyed. And although the French Worms do technically have the lead on the map right now, and they're looking to push that side node yet again, Floody should be able to prevent the full cap from Zard. Actually, wait, maybe not. Oh, wait, oh, wait what's he? What's Floody doing? Wait, are you seeing that? He was like just jumping up and down. I like that from Floody. I don't know. He was like trying to do some like elaborate jumping puzzle there. And oh, again, Num. I think they're making a few rotational mistakes here, Roy. They're, they're not moving quick enough, are they? And they've got punished no, for that again. Not. 
Again, side nodes will go the way. We see a kill picked up on Goku. They may be able to find a kill here on Azurs, and that's good if they can connect another kill off of it. But it's taken them so long to find this kill on Azurs. This is part of the power of the French Rooms comp. That Goku is already back almost at mid. His spree on the res is no way he gets this. This will be the kill confirmed here for Ultranum on top of Azurs. But yeah, I, you said it yourself. They're just moving too slow. Finally, though, with the follow-up kill on Azurs, this is the saving grace for them. We should see the decap coming out of Windmill pretty soon. Goku and Tibbs are not going to be able to contest that. And if Ultranum can lock that node down, they'll be absolutely fine. Garnet here staying on Clock Tower to make sure no one gets the decap is our attack starting to maybe move his way over towards the clock tower but of course they they aren't sure exactly or they weren't sure exactly where fly was so they wanted to make sure they could decap fly now currently just pushing his spree away and windmill will go the way of ultram and this again they've they've salvaged the last couple of mis rotations they've gotten the double cap back this is exactly where they want to be but you know again it's just it's not as dominant as a performance as you want from ultranum con you know considering what their comp is considering how we normally see them play on this map and they're definitely playing a little a lot better than they did on the skyhammer they're definitely able to you know to force french worms away from these nodes but they're making some serious mistakes and capricorn is not going to be as quite of an easy map for them to play on which is the next map of course and they're going to have to do better crane going for the glyph it just doesn't, doesn't get, it. get it up but floody should be able to get that res there with the hard res yeah fly will be back up and that was a bit of a risk there that could have been the first kill or the second kill rather there on ultranum fortunately fly is going to be able to escape with his life gornet though a lot of cooldowns used to be able to contest mid and windmill will be decapped yet again by french worms that was a very good contest there from gornet like he i think he's really recognizing that any decap is incredibly bad for them at this stage in the game so yeah. it would almost be worth him dying there i think actually like, so i think he was very committed i think that's definitely correct as well uh from gornet now windmill if windmill gets capped i, I you know I, we're kind of talking like ultram's going to 100 percent win this but like if as is, is able to actually get force this cap into Cabablanca. This is 100% winnable by the French Worms. And we oh, can it see is. That, we can see that these knockbacks keep coming through, and eventually it looks like Azaz is just going to be able to flat cap that node. Like, um, oh, Fly, though, nearly getting the decap, but Tibbs able to react to that just barely in time to deny that. And I, I think this is I think this is very scary, though, right now for Ultram, because oh, if yeah. that cap comes through, and he, he's nearly got it, he's, he's two ticks away, I think. A spree, though. Oh, there's a massive kill by Floody. Able to pick up a spree, and that means they're going to be able to plus very effectively uh, into Azaz there. And yeah, that's going to deny that cap. It would nearly happen, but they're able to reinforce just in time to prevent their condition Reverend from getting capped by Azaz there as well. And yeah, Zartak may be looking for the res, but he shouldn't get Not going to happen. And as you said, it, it almost came back there for French Worms. If they'd been able to get that cap on Windmill and obviously already having the Mansion cap, it would have been good. And part of the reason was they were able to hold those three players there on mid. Floody, Cran, and Gornet there for such a long time trying to push into those Revenants and, and Ultranum weren't getting any kills so that we now see Goku fall. But the fact is, unfortunately, Esprit getting caught out in roads like that and them just not able to cap the side nodes before anyone died on the map, mostly, you know, significantly Esprit there. I uh, just completely shut down the attempt there. Still, it isn't game 100%. There's still three minutes left in this game. Ultranum are only ahead by about 40 points. They still only have a single cap. Windmill has not been capped yet. And Tim's keeping a very close eye on the mansion, meaning he's probably not going to be able to get to there. Gornet now under a little bit of pressure here on mid. He's actually in a little bit of trouble. He needs to be careful as Tibbs starting to aggress on him pretty heavily, but he should be okay at least for a little bit longer. Oh, that entangle is huge. That might be a decap. Oh, he gets back on there just in time. Well played there by Gornet to be able to get there. But if the if, he, if the worms could actually generate that decap, they do actually win off one node. Cran though arrives. Oh, that's such a good rotation there by Cran. Able to save uh, Gornet from getting decapped on mid. And yeah, with a spree falling there, I, I think things are starting to get very, very difficult. Uh, for the French Worms right now in this game. But again, it's so close on what is arguably Ultranum's best map and arguably the best map for them to play on as well, other than maybe Legacy. And I I gotta be honest, I'm a little bit worried for them for the next game. Again, obviously Capricorn, not their worst map by far, but it's going to be in very interesting to see how the bell goes, just because I feel as though the French Worms will probably just put someone there and hold on to it and contest it for a very long time, Azures or, or Zartak. And, or potentially even Tibbs, potentially even Goku, really. Almost anyone except for the Thief could contest that for a while. And depending on how Ultronome play around it, depending on what the map state is, when the bells come up, I, I think that we could see the bells honestly winning the French Room this game. Because if we, if we look at the point score right here, assuming that French Rooms had two bells, they would be winning the game right now. Or even, even almost one bell. So that one, that bell could make a huge difference in the next match, assuming that Ultronome does close this out, which at this point I think is very likely. It would be very, very difficult considering 
how the last few moments have been going, the last few minutes have been going for this game, for the French rooms to come back into it. One node apiece, and honestly, almost one node would win Ultronome at this point. 70 points away, a minute and a half left yeah, in this Fly match. Was able to kill. again to get a die. Yeah, Fly got him, I think, in a 1v1 even. Um, so that's obviously incredibly bad uh, for the French rooms. I, th I think that kind of signals the end of the game there, uh, essentially. A Cran and Gornet still just holding down mid there in addition to Floody there. And yeah, that's just going to be pretty much just die on point at this point. I mean, even if, in fact, I believe if they go, if they kind of go AFK at this point, they're probably still going to win. Um, so Ultram are going to be able to bring this back to a 1 1. And they are going to have a very terrifying brush with the loser bracket there, I think, though. Like, they are going to have oh, to yeah. really, they're going to have to really play their heart out if they want to stay in that upper bracket and go on to face rank 55. Because the French Worms, they are a force to be reckoned with. And, and as you say, like, when we're talking about the next map in, in terms of, like, you know, how it's going to go out, you're absolutely right that the bell is going to dictate that. If the French Worms are able to generate value uh, out of the bell by just wasting. Ultronom's time, that's going to be very decisive for them and very hard for Ultronom to play around. So it's Ultronom is going to have to be very careful, and I think I think that just they have to play really aggressively, right, and make sure they get those kills oh, yeah. really, they, really quickly. They need, they need again. I said this before. They didn't really do this map. They were able to hold on to a double cap long enough and, and also just keep French Worms decap long enough for them to take the win, take the lead here. But they need to be able to get a double cap sooner and have a more significant point lead earlier on because if they lose those bells again, I mean, 75 points here, two bells picked up by French Worms in this game would have almost been the difference here and it almost would have been a win just based off those two bells if, if the French Worms could do that. So they need to be able to get a more aggressive lead and a, and a bigger lead in the beginning of the game just in case those bells do go the way of French Worms. Either way, we will see that next. It's 1-1. One, one. Ultronum really likes to go the distance here. We saw them lose first map against Cheese Mode. Same thing with French Worms, but they've taken it back on Kylo, and they're looking to take it back all the way here on Capricorn game number three. That's how it goes. Anyway, never mind all that, guys. We are now going into the final game on the red team. It is the French Worms going up against Ultra Numb here on Revenge of the Capricorn. Well, I think we're going to see the Worms go to all three points immediately. Once again, yeah, is it the Revenge of the Worms or Revenge of the Numb? Who the hell knows? Both teams are stealthing up. Azza's looking to contest onto mid. But the Worms not actually going for the third node here. Not going for the push. Actually, no, 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 no. They're going to move their uh, Renegade there, I believe. Uh, and Tibbs should be able to nearly cap the dog. Not able to get there. And we actually see Ultronum also able to do a great job of contesting almost everything. But Ultronum actually have nobody uh, going to their own uh, home node there. Like, the Bazaar is going to be I actually... Yeah, I think it's a pretty interesting approach to them. I think the idea here is that they just want to be as aggressive as they possibly can. They they most... Ooh, actually, Fly getting destroyed here by Esprit. Capablanca not going to be able to get that res. The CC on top of it is too much. And unfortunately, I, I did like the idea to have some early aggression there from Ultronome, but Fly, unfortunately, getting shut down very, very hard by Esprit. Just one shot by the condition pressure from him. And that is going to be Ultronome with a very, very poor start in this map. I mean, and I, I almost feel that Numb got a little bit baited here, right? They're kind of getting trolled 2v3 by Goku and Azaz, right? They, they've wasted a lot of time there. Like, maybe uh, if they, you know, if they move their Necromancer or Floody out on the map a little bit more, they would have been able to be a little bit more favor there. But the Worms already securing the side nodes. They're, try they're con still contesting mid-2. It's one tick away from being captured, as you can see, uh, from that tiny sliver of, uh, of neutrality. On the mid there it does get cap for Ultra, I and mean, that's that's something actually. That's a good cap uh, to have there. But yeah, that one early, very that early kill on Fly is fantastic for the Worms and Capablanca. A little bit of trouble here too. Tibbs and Esprit looking to take him out, but uh, his team has arrived to assist him, and he should be able to get away just fine. Yeah, the unfortunately middle node will be decapped. Gornet not going to be able to hold it down against three revenants there from French Worms, and that's going to be side nodes again picked up here. And this is beginning to look a little bit more reminiscent of Skyhammer here. You know, again, we saw Ultronum very, very split up. Fly not getting as much value as he did on Kylo. Unfortunately, Spree is able to match him here and get quite a bit of damage, actually. Fly almost dying immediately by the condition burst. And I think Fly has been a lot more effective when he doesn't have to 1v1 his Spree so much. I think when he's able to kind of initiate the fight onto his Spree inside of a team fight, off of a team fight, then it goes a lot better for him on this DP build. But when his Spree gets the initial burst off, there's just really nothing he can do. He can't really stay in that 1v1, and it's a free node for his Spree here. And again, we see this split across the entire map as the bell is going to be coming up the first one here in 30 seconds. And it's just, it's not ideal for Ultronum. If, if French Rooms, again, can consistently get those bells or at least contest them and win the map, then Ultronum will just continue to slow down and, and continue to gradually lose the game here, fall behind on points as they did in Skyhammer. Tibbs very low out of this fight, but he should be able to kite for now. And Ultronum not able to confirm the kill on him. 
Again, just slowing them down as the bell comes up. He's in trouble. He, he should be able to entangle and then disengage there. His rune of resistance really helping there, giving him that immunity conditions for a while after he uses his elite skill. And uh, Floody already looking to contest the bell with Gornet. And we kind of see the team fight of Numb assembling here on the bell. And that's certainly a very good omen for them. But I think they can't afford to sacrifice the entire map for that, for, for this bell, right? That's something they have to be really careful of, right? They, they I think they want to commit to this and go for it, but they mustn't waste too much time here, right? Otherwise, they're just going to fall even further behind than they already are. Great kill there on the Tibbs, though, from Capablanca. That's a very nice kill uh, from from him. That will not only allow him to... I, honestly, I think he stomps... And just, uh, do you think he just goes to the team fight directly without even capping it, right? That honestly might be correct. Maybe. I, I think probably. That probably makes sense, but... Well, I, I, they do need to get some points back. He, he, he thinks that they can sustain it long enough, but again... The issue here is that, as we've seen in previous maps, they have to be able to snowball. They have to be able to consistently get kills. And when they have that advantage in the kill on the map, they should take it instead of focusing on the nodes, in my opinion. And I think Fly being outside of this fight is definitely a, a huge distractor to Ultron being able to win it as well. And, and I don't like it. They are going for map control, though. And they're able to actually potentially triple cap here, although his free maybe gets to decap here at mid fly. I don't know if he's, you know, he's not going to be able to get there in time. So it'll be double cap side nodes as Zartek makes his way over towards Zog. But again, the bell is so important. And, and it's similar to Skyhammer where we really don't want to see Cran and Gornet get stuck into this eternal 2v2. If they can't win it, as fly goes for the plus, it just, it will lock them down. Maybe if they get a quick kill on one of these revenants with fly plusing it, it will allow them to leave this. But getting locked into it, even with the map control, is not ideal for Ultronum. And especially because the French Worms eventually should be able to cap this just because of knockbacks from the Ventari rope. Yeah, and the, the good news is for Numb is they are probably going to end up at least winning this bell eventually. And they have actually managed to get some good map pressure. Esprit now looking to go for that decap. He actually, did, he actually didn't decap. He had to teleport back there uh, as well. I think, I think there are actually internet issues on both teams. I think we can see Floody lagging a little bit here as well when we're on his perspective. He's kind of a little bit desynchronized there. Uh, you know, or maybe he's hacking. We don't know. We really don't know, guys. We have no idea. He could be a speed demon for all we know. I, I mean, I, 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 it's, uh, yeah, he is known for that sort of thing, of course. But, uh, you know, never mind. We kind of see the map completely stalled out right now. The French Worms uh, a little bit behind right now the, uh, in terms of the cap. They do get the decap, though. They're able to neutralize that. And they find themselves once again uh, in the lead just by the virtue of having a few more points. But I don't, I'm either team not really able to force the bell just yet. Uh, I think eventually Numb might be able to get it. They've got a 3v2 here. But I think Numb has to be careful. Like, if, they're not, if they don't get this soon, they need to make sure they move a player out. I think that's exactly what they're going to do with Floody. Yeah, they're just going to say, leave the 2v2 there, move Floody around and try and get some kills. Esprit and Tibbs looking to capture uh, mid and also the, the Bazaar. But actually, Esprit leaving it neutral and maybe going to plus onto the bell. Not sure what we're going to see there from the worms. Again, I think Ultronum playing for the map control over kills is incorrect. I think they need to be going for kills over anything else because that's really the best way that they won uh, Kylo, and they're not doing it here. And especially with this additional objective that they have to play for, it just doesn't work in their favor. And we saw a fly move around the map a lot, but never really get any value into this bell fight. And it's, it's at the moment going eternally. And Again, Cran and Garnet need to be in a lot of these fights, but they need to be in these fights with other players. They need to be able to lock it down, and we do see another kill picked up on Tibbs, but I'm just worried that Ultram will begin to fall behind because the side nodes are currently going to be in favor of the of French Worms. Even if they're not capped yet, the pressure is there for them, and Zartag eventually should be able to win this. But Fly again is going to be going for the plus, and it looks like at the moment Ultram are taking advantage of the Core Rev and Herald being locked into this bell. They are able to get a little bit more pressure out of the map that maybe French Worms is expecting, and I, I think part of it is the way that Esprit is kind of focusing on picking up the Bazaar instead of matching Fly a little bit more. I think when he begins to match Fly in these plus ones, in these 2v2s, we'll see the French Worms move ahead a little bit. At the moment, he's not doing so. But, of course, Bell still going to be eternally locked until Floody gets over there. They might be able to turn around. Zartak, though, will go down. Esprit just too late there, unfortunately. Fly pushed away, but I don't think he can get this res. The CC should be there from Capablanca to stop it. And Zartak does get eliminated there, um, just barely. Esprit not to be able to arrive in time. I, I don't want to reflect on just how long, uh, I, I, how long the points kind of didn't really go anywhere. Uh, <laughs> I think they were. I think the score was identical for about. I want to say for about two or three minutes. Then, of course, the bell actually respawned before it was taken, and we're actually getting very close. We might end up seeing that a third time as well coming up soon, because honestly, there's no real sign of the bell being captured by either team so far. Tibbs, oh, looking Goku's at almost down. Oh no. Gets the heel back up and he's at yeah. full health again. Uh, Tibbs nearly capping mid. Floody, I, th I think Floody will struggle a little bit in this 1v1. Not really an ideal matchup for him. Uh, into the base ranger. So he's going to need some help from Fly. Fly is about there. He's thinking about plusing it. Yeah, he's going to come for the plus here pretty soon. And that will allow Floody to 
to be able to start to capture the archway. French Worm still with a 20 point lead though and now bringing in a Revenant in addition to a Spree. They'll be able to get a bit of an outnumber on mid. They might be able to force that and I think if they were able to actually force that 2 cap that would be massive. The Bell, I, I, look, I think the Bell is working out very well for the Worms. It's keeping that Necromancer and Tempest locked down the entirety of the game and they, and this is the worst part, right? Ultranum is needing to plus it. They're needing to waste their Thief's time constantly plusing the Bell because the Revs are eventually going to cap it, right? So they need to shove them away constantly. And Fly is going to be able to get... That's a really nice decap from Fly. That will catapult and his we see, team. Even more importantly, a kill on Gornet at the Bell is free plus in that Fly Ooh. in order to be found. And Gornet's going to go down. Cran potentially going for the Glyph, but I don't know if he's going to be able to do it. No, the Stomp is going to be there. And the kill now picked up on Gornet means that Cran is going to be alone. He'll die very quickly. The Bell will go the way of, old, of French Worms. And this is exactly what he's talking about. If they can continue... If they get these Bells, they will be able to just edge out this victory and continue to hold their lead. And I think this was the mistake that Ultranum did made. They they had their their Necro and their Tempest out of the map for so very long, and they were not able to win the map because of it. They were not able to consistently get kills. They got a kill on Zartak. They got a kill on Tibbs, and that's basically it. They got nothing else, and the Bell eventually went the way of French Worms. They they committed so many resources for so long to something that eventually they didn't get, and it's a huge mistake on Ultranum's part, in my opinion, uh, from these rotations, uh, specifically from Fly. I mean, he did a nice job of out rotating Esper for a little while, but. He just didn't really get anything from them. We're not going to see Tibbs very low in roads. Gornet come back off respawn. Heartseekers from a fly will eventually bring Tibbs down, but maps still in favor of Red Team. The dock going to be picked up. And the other two nodes going to be contested. Bell now here for the second time. This is really the third time in the map, but only the second time we're going to see it. And again, we have to see how Ultranum are going to how they respond to this, if they allow the French Rooms to get a second bell, which would be 50 points this time, or if they're going to be able to match it and put 25 points back on the board for them, but five and a half minutes left in the game, side nodes going to French Worms, about a 60 point difference here, and Ultranum are now playing for their lives. Yeah, they absolutely are. Uh, this, I think if they could get the bell, that would be really nice. It would almost kind of put them back on par with the French Worms, but they're just not able to get a two cap, right? They aren't able to rotate quick enough uh, because they're just getting completely glued. They're getting stuck uh, on the bell for such a long time. Actually, the Worms might be able to pick this up. Look at all those renegade spirits just going crazy right now. The Reaper not able to really push into that just yet. They've got to go for it. Uh, the decaps are really good from Fly, but one, one node falls, another grows in its place as a spree is moving around the map quite effectively to shut down fly and match fly and uh, fly is able to chase down a spree if he could kill a spree that would be really really good uh, but you know ultra I'm having a bit of trouble even fighting into this bell here like the renegade really or oh, the oh no oh yeah, they give it up and Gornet falls to next game oh that is a disaster for ultranum that is 50 points for the worms, dude. 50 points. Now there are 120 points up and there's only four minutes left in the game. That's going to be incredibly difficult for Ultranum to, uh, to, Especially to because reach here. If we see a fourth and final bell here at three minutes, honestly, French worms don't even need to play for it. It's 25 points. They could easily just lock the rest of the map down while Ultranum go there. And, and they won't need to play for it. But they also can very easily contest it and continue just this kind of slow crawl with the one cap. Ultranum just, they're not they are not playing around the Bell very well at all, and, and we can see that. Honestly, it almost would have been better for them to completely disengage from Bell from the beginning, not fight it at all, and, and honestly just take back map control uh, away from French Worms. But they didn't do that. They did give up 75 points basically for nothing. They got no value out of fighting for the Bell at all, and, and they've fallen very far behind, 150 points now. They're matching on the map. They may even get a double cap here after the kill on Zartak comes out over at the dock, but... Unless they can find another kill and confirm this cap and then fight for the bell and get that 25 points back, I don't think it's going to matter. It's very, very difficult indeed. I, I think double cap actually, oh, would it be enough? If they could decap mid and get a double cap, that would be enough to win. But outside of that, oh, it's so difficult. They're really looking to force it. Fly moving in there. If they could maybe pick up a couple of kills, but it's not going to be easy with Azza's Esprit and Tibbs here. To pick up kills, we see Goku looking to go to contest mid, I think. I think that's Goku. F Fly goes, goes down. down. So does Fly. Floody is here as well as oh. Captain Blanca. They're going for it. We will see Tibbs and Azura's trying to contest as well. Fly going to be cleaved out, but he does port away. Esprit's still going to be pretty low, but I don't know if the cleave is going to be in favor. Oh, Esprit's getting raised. Red's coming out from Azura's now, and Esprit, his health bar is going back up. Captain Blanca Tibbs as well. Stomping. Cran coming in now. Can they get the stop? They don't get it. No, the interrupter's going to oh. be there. Cran looking for it, but Esprit's going to be hard. So is Fly. 
back up with the glyph and it's gonna be another fight but it's not maybe gonna matter because 100 points 120 points difference still in favor of french worms two and a half minutes left the bell is still in play cran has forced to go back as gornet was one versus two gornet does port back up but that means he's taking so much pressure as a spree might even leave this the lich coming out from gornet onto the bell here in the goku but again uh, unless i don't even know if Ultron has time now even if they triple cap the worms can't be stopped, Roy. They are simply too powerful. They are going to dispatch Ultra Num, Roy. I don't they know. They really burrowed into this map. They, they are, yeah. They <laughs> that is exactly what they've done. They have burrowed in deep into the ground here. They're almost looking to finish it on a three cap too. Uh, looking to capture the dock and the bazaar in this game. After that, I mean that's and... it's exactly what I said. They they basically gave up the bell for free and they get map control and. Ultranome get nothing. They lose their Necro now at the Bazaar. Double Cap comes out here. Cran does get a decap in mid, but Doc currently... I mean, it's not 100% one for French Rooms yet, but it's almost capped up. And again, one, I mean, at this point, it's impossible for Ultranome to win, I'm pretty confident, unless uh, they basically allow themselves to just get killed out of spawn. And Ultranome, unfortunately, will be going down to the lower bracket. We are actually going to see them play next against yes. Cheese Mode. And, and one of those teams will be gone for good. So oh. loses it. And that, but, is, uh, that is not good, dude. Like, that is... Oh, what a, no. what a horrible elimination to see there. Of course, that is the nature of the beast, right? When you have so many strong teams and only two are going to be able to prevail. We do actually see a... Uh, I think I, That might have actually been a DC there uh, from Floody. I, th I think he was having some connection issues. I think him and Esprit mm -hmm. were both having a few internet connections uh, during that game. I think they, they were both kind of glitching out a little bit. Uh, but it is going to be 2-1 in favor of the French Worms. The French Worms... They're done for the day. They are playing rank 55 dragons tomorrow with their brand oh. new composition.